In part three of the reconciliation videos, we saw that Zero remembers how you created previous cash transactions when the same payee name appears on the bank statement line. I'll just show you that to remind you now. If I go to the reconciliation screen and scroll down to Ridgeway Banking Corporation, Zero has remembered how it was coded last time and has created the same um, transaction of money going out of the bank account and into bank fees. But Zero can only do this if the payee on the statement line is exactly the same as last time. If something is different, such as the spelling, you will need to create the transaction from scratch on the right hand side every time. To prevent you having to type the same transaction every time, you can create a bank rule. And we can see a bank rule down here against 7-Eleven. So a rule has been set up asking Xero to, to create a cash transaction according to some rules. So if we clicked OK, Xero would create the following transaction to 7-Eleven, miscellaneous corner store, for the whole amount on the statement line, um, coded to general expenses, including 20% VAT. So um, that's what would happen if I clicked OK. Now let's see how that rule was set up. If I go to 7-Eleven, we can see the bank rule. And that it's been set up on, on one number one, when the money spent on the bank statement matches all of the following conditions. And we've got payee, but you have other ways of setting up bank rules, contains 7-Eleven, and that's the only condition we've got set up here, but you can have more. And then number two is set the contact. So it's always a good idea to set the contact because if you use whatever's on the bank statement line, it could be different every time and you'd get several different contacts set up. So it's saying the contact will be 7-Eleven. Then number three, we haven't allocated anything in number three, but if um, on the transaction, you want to allocate a fixed value as part of that transaction to a certain account code, you can set that up here. Then with number four, which can be used in conjunction with number three or on its own as it is here, it's saying whatever, here we have 100% of whatever's on the bank statement line should be coded to general expenses including VAT. And we also have the description of miscellaneous corner store. So, and then we have number five, if we want to set a reference and we can t tell zero that whether this rule can be used on one or more of our bank accounts that are set up in zero. And then we've just given the rule a title. So that's the, how the rule has been set up. The rules are all kept, as we can see, under the accounts tab, bank accounts and bank rules. We can only create two types of rules and they can only be for cash transactions. So we can create a spend money rule or a receive money rule. And this is where you can come in where they're kept and you can see the listing of your rules when you've set them up. You can also drill into those rules and make any amendments if anything changes.